watching Go Canada. We the North. Big news for Canada's women's team as the Toronto Raptors have made it official. The logo on the shorts. That means this partnership is now live. Big news for the ladies in terms of support. Financially, the Raptors putting their money where their mouth is and our in-house expert when it comes to Canada basketball board member Paul Jones talk to us about now this next phase as they attempt to qualify for Paris well listen no pressure ladies uh, I've already booked my ticket to Paris once the men qualified I figured the women would do it they've been doing it for uh, quite some time uh, the women's programs top five in the world yep uh, Canadian women and much like soccer the women's program was quite a bit ahead of the men's program for a long time and it's just the lag is just being processed and they're catching up now but uh, you got a, a veteran team, um, you know, a, a coach with terrific international experience. And you, when you're around the team, you can see that there's positive energy. Uh, they've got, there's a, you know, there's a good mix of vets and young players coming, coming in. Uh, you know, Canada basketball has done a great job of building the pyramid from the bottom where, you know, academies and the identification process is going on. And we're seeing these young women come up through the ranks and we got professional players on that team. We got WNBA players on, on the national team. So I, f I fully expect them to qualify and uh, be a medal contender in France. Speaking of qualification and tournaments, Sherm, today is November 3rd, which means the very first day of the very first in-season tournament for the NBA. We've got Brooklyn and Chicago who are currently in the Raptors division playing tonight at 8 o'clock as you see how the division lays out. But the big thing in this conversation is how does this translate to how teams prepare? How do you really get guys to invest? The money's a good start apparently. 500000 for coach and players on the winning team, Sherm. Your thoughts on this? I don't think it changes anything. I mean, these games are going to count towards their 82. Yes. So you've got to prepare just like you would for an 82-game season. So that, to me, actually helps this tournament because it, it doesn't bring them away from what they traditionally do as players and coaches. They'd focus on these games. They'd prepare the same. What it does to me is it creates a little bit more excitement as it gets down to, as you talked about, championship play. Yeah. Because then that's where the investment is. You get to that point, and you're like, well, might as well win this thing now, right? <laughs> might as well, like the first – games or whatever you're like we're just playing games that we normally play but then you're like it starts to shape up and you're like all right yeah do so, it for the back of bench guys 500k so, is a right, game changer 100 percent. so overseas this is a regular thing yeah i've played in cups within seasons and what i know about them is they didn't count to our regular season record so it was a completely different entity but it did create this competitive energy about okay we got this other group to deal with, and we got this other scenario to go after. So I just like the the fact that the, as it plays out, it's something that the players, I feel, will get into because anything about a championship... Competitive, yeah. Raises the level. <laughs> Great for the resume. Yeah. 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 All right, well, that does it here on the very first day of the end season tournament. Right now you're checking out what the Toronto Raptors court will like look it. like. I like when it When they lot. hit the floor, paired with the brand new OVO-inspired jersey. That's a good look, the, too. The City Edition. Shouts out to Dennis Schroeder for giving us an early peek. But this is what's hot <laughs> happening. And um, I guess uh, we'll see how the Raptors fare in this tournament and see how it changes things. The first forward. game in, for them in the tournament is the last game of this road trip in Boston, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. All right, well, that does it for us. We'll see you guys next week on Raptors Today.